you you have uh, in this movie you have a wife and you have a daughter, uh, Tessa Thompson, and is it, is it Mia Davis Kent? Uh, Mila. Mila Davis yeah, Kent, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, who is deaf, and the three of you sign. Mm. Uh, what was what was the significance of that for you in the picture? It was obviously very important to have that front and center. Yeah, I think you know just following the tradition of you know and the evolution of the story. You know, you know, Adonis meets you know Bianca, who's hard of hearing. She's losing. She has progressive hearing loss in the first movie. The second movie, her hearing is you know you know progressively getting worse. We have a daughter who you know we don't know whether or not she's going to be deaf or not, and the questions and conversations around that within the family. And then the third movie, it's it's completely normalized, and we're an ASL family, and that's what it is. I didn't want to put any extras on it. I just wanted to establish that this is a guy. Who who wanted to give his daughter everything that he didn't have. You know, he wanted to do things right. He wanted to be better than Apollo. You know, he had to, he had to, generationally, he had to evolve. And um, with, you know, with Bianca and, and, and Amara and that family dynamic, I just wanted to show um, the strong, you know, black women around Adonis, the strong women in their family, uh, especially through the matriarch all, all the way down, the generational yeah. uh, women that's been around Adonis. Um, but the ASL component was something that um, I love because you know, we're moving about boxing. You know, Adonis uses his hands to hurt people and to win and to fight and violent at times. But also he's used to communicate to the most precious people that he has around him. Um, and, and something, the juxtaposition of the two, I just thought was really poetic. On the subject of strong black women, mm -hmm. as you mentioned them, Daniel Deadweiler was on the show okay. uh, just recently and talking about her movie Till and her astonishing performance. A uh, fantastic. Amazing, overlooked at the Oscars. And she said, mm on this show, that she works, and I'm quoting here, in an industry with unabashed misogyny towards black women. Mm. Do you recognize that? I do. Um, and I <clears throat> also feel a responsibility to tell the truth and to write that, uh, you know, perspective. Um, in a sense, uh, you know, I've, I grew up with nothing but strong black women around me and um, know how pivotal it is to who I am today and, you know, the you know, the tools that I have and the, you know, the compassion and empathy and uh, morals that I have. Um, and also the vulnerability that I have and how important that is, you know, as a man walking through, you know, this world. Um, so in this story, you know, having, a, you know, a black woman with her own agency, even though it is a creed story, I wanted all Bianca and Amara and, and, and Marianne to always feel like, uh, you know, they had, they're the heroes of their own story as well. And, 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 and in support of Adonis, obviously, to find our hero's journey um, so he can complete that and be the best version of the character that we needed him to be. Um, he had to go through challenges through those black women, through the women in his life. And that's something that I really wanted to uh, pay attention to. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. While you're here, check out all the other videos because they're cool too, aren't they? Yeah, and if you want to keep up to date with everything Kermit and Mayo's take, then check out our social channels. I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, I, I would. I have done. Excellent.